Hi, my name is Roche Cloud9 and this is my basic champion guide Nidalee. I'm pretty sure Nidalee is the one of the best champion in solo queue among every champion. It is this champion is really broken. This champion can actually solo carry as jungler. This champion, the strong point is it's really very flexible at playing game. It means sometimes you can do poke, sometimes you can one shot enemies carries like assassinate, or you can control enemy jungle so easily because you have really best clear speed and because of pounds and passive you have to you don't have to worry about being caught so it has it makes Nidalee really strong in solo queue jungle path is pretty meaningless to Nidalee because you have a lot of freedom on your path you can do one uh, level 2 gank or cheese invade to enemy jungle by pouncing dragon wall after finishing your first buff or first camp or you can take crab really early like after fi finishing three camps and recall or just invade again. But what ganking, it is better for you to help laner who has C. Nidali is the only jungler who doesn't have CC as jungler. You can throw spear while enemy laner is stunned or rooted if you laner his kill shot. And it must be free kill. As Nidali's weak, weak point is not having CC and being not tanky at all makes her team fight or catching enemy very awkward on mid or late game. So it's better for you to your team to group S5 and start sieging turrets to utilize your Q poke, zoning enemy with W trap and killing with sustain. Actually there's nothing to say about her mid or late game. If your game is going to even with Nidalee, it means you are going to lose the game. Nidalee is really broken in early game so you have to obvious early game then mid or late game so if that happens i mean being even at mid game maybe something is wrong with your you or your teammate <laughs> so just focus just focus on early game and so if you fail to have advantage on early game just try to siege turret s5 maybe i'm bi biased but i think nidali is good against every matchup but if you have same level and item as enemy jungle you cannot deal against most of champions like alice listen Kindred or other champs. It sounds weird, but don't worry. If you play this champion properly, there's no way you have same level and item as enemy jungler because the champion has fastest jungle clear speed compared to other champs. So you have to practice jungling more than other stuff as Nidalee. Some people told me that they get they usually get executed as Nidalee on the jungle, mainly because they don't know how Nidalee hunt mark works on jungle camp. It looks like doing only root on jungle camp i mean bind but it can all it can earth also work as ton if you abuse this properly uh why jungle camp get marked they don't lose any pet patience even though you are really far from them so if you use auto attack after rooting them as range type you can do damage without taking any damage most of unexperienced nidali player try to pounce right after rooting jungle camp like after hitting q just they use pounce just because they think it is most effic efficient to use pounce as soon as possible. But not, not like their thought, Nidalee's auto does almost same damage as pounce. So you don't have to jump jump right after hitting. So it's, it's better for you to do some more autos while kiting back camp pounce after 3 or 4 auto. This tip is especially for killing red when it is first clear. Later on, it is easier to clear camps as Nidalee so you can do whatever you want. Also, make sure to kill Scuttered Crab as many as possible because Nidalee is the best champion at killing crab. It gives you 70 gold now because it is patched and it makes huge difference. Nidalee has some auto cancel mechanics. Basically, your auto timer gets reset whenever you change your form. So if you change your form right after using one auto as human, you can do the next auto very smoothly. Same as Cougar form, if you use W, right after you Q, you can do Q's damage without having Q casting time. It looks really cool and it's very useful. In this case, W direction doesn't matter. For example, you can finish your camp while you are pouncing toward next camp. Practicing these tricks make your clear speed faster. It's not hard at all. 3 minutes practice must be enough. When I used Thunderlord build, it was kind of necessary to use flat armor on yellow, but after I used Strength of Ages, it is okay to use scaling hearth runes. It is considered as more efficient, and this is what I use these days. But if you are new at this champion, it is still good to take flat armor because having flat armor when you do jungling can make you more healthier, more easy to clear. But if you you have enough skill to play Nidalee jungle, it's better to use scaling hearth runes.
I changed my Nidali Mastery these days. We noticed that Thunderlord is really inefficient and overrated keystone. So I moved to Strength of Ages and this is what I use these days. Uh, this is common so I don't need explanation, just do this. <laughs> Some player prefer to start with Q at level 1 because it's simple, simple to do but I think you should start with W and level Q at 2 and E at 3 and max Q, E, W. When I use Thunder, I usually just build World of Ages by 90% chance after Runex Echo. But these days, I get some extra health for mastery from Strength of Ages. It is okay for you to build other items after finish your Runex Echo. If you want to be more tankier and you wanna play more safe, you can still build World of Ages. That's what other players do. But usually, if I want to do more damage, I just build Morellos. It's really good. It feels really good because you can't get 40% CDR at early and you have all your parts pack is more cheaper and you can still have the same mana. This mana region is really synergized well with Runix Echo. So I think it's good for you to try this item sometimes and it worked out really well for me. And or if you wanna get some utility or Shin's prop, I think having Iceborne Gauntlet is really good if your enemy has some AD champions. Also, if enemy has a lot of AP champions, you can still build a B Cell Scepter only. It's kind of flexible, but what I want to say was you have more options than before because you have you can get more extra health from masteries. Thanks for watching my guide. Make sure to check out the rest at lurklass.com.